You're now listening to All Hog Sports. Covering all Arkansas Razorback sports, such as football, basketball, baseball, and much more. Now, here's your host for today's show, Sam Stimson. Now, this past weekend, Arkansas dropped their first home series at Baumwalker Stadium since 2019. In Game 1, they dropped the game to Vanderbilt in a really dramatic fashion, and Reek Bradfield hit a late home run, and Arkansas almost rallied to get the comeback. They kind of played from behind all game. Game 2 was played in two separate days because of a rain delay, but Arkansas really got the bats going. And then in Game 3, nothing was working on offense for Arkansas. They only had two hits as an entire team. It was a really rough day. For the Razorbacks on the offensive side in that game. Now before I get to recapping this Vanderbilt series. I'm excited to announce that this podcast is sponsored by Homefield Apparel. They're kicking off their new season of merchandise. Launching the Arkansas Collection on May 21st at 11am Central. There's 15 pieces of apparel. Hoodies, crewnecks, t-shirts. They've got a lot of different designs on there. I love the designs that they showed me. Make sure to check it out, though. And new customers, you guys can get 15% off your purchase from Homefield with code ALLHOGSPORTS at checkout at homefieldapparel.com. That's ALLHOGSPORTS, all uppercase with no spaces between. Now, after this weekend, Arkansas's overall record for baseball sits at 37-14. and 17-10 conference record is tied for first in the SEC West. Right now, Arkansas is tied for first with Texas A&M. And what they do in SEC baseball is when there's a tie in a division, they'll just award it to both teams. Both teams get that first place spot. But for the SEC tournament, Texas A&M would get the uh, the seed over us because they did end up beating Arkansas um, earlier this season in a series at College Station. That was the first SEC home series loss for Arkansas since 2019, back I think late March when they lost to Old Miss. 12 straight SEC home series. If Arkansas would have won this one, it would have been a perfect 5-0 and back-to-back years with a record at home. Looking forward though, Arkansas sitting at that uh, 17-10 SEC record along with Texas A&M. Arkansas travels to Tuscaloosa Thursday, Friday, Saturday series to face the Crimson Tide. I should have a preview up on that one on Thursday, so make sure to stay tuned for that one. But jumping back in to the overall standings and everything on the other side of the SEC, just looking at it because the tournament's soon. Obviously, Tennessee has been killer this year, 22-5 and conference record. Vanderbilt's 14-13. and And the thing is with this Vanderbilt team is they seem to be peaking at the right time. You always want to have that... Um, going into postseason, you know, Vanderbilt obviously had their struggles and even wasn't ranked for a portion of this year, but they are able to rebound and get things going for them. Now, Friday night game one, Vanderbilt won obviously 9-6, to six, and this one, Enrique Bradfield was incredible for Vanderbilt. Uh, top of the 10th inning, he came up to bat and hit a three-run home run off Brady Tigert. And it was one of those situations where I think hindsight is always twenty twenty because up on deck after Bradfield is um, Diaz, and obviously Diaz is not the, the same hitter as Bradfield. I mean, Bradfield, we're talking about a guy here who was the um, the SEC player of the week. Bradfield, I think he batted 9 for 19 at the plate um, on the week, and then just against Arkansas, he batted 8 for 13. Uh, he had three hits in this game one. Um, out of five at-bats, scoring that uh, run off of a homer. Um, Tiger, though, don't get down on him. And I know, you know, obviously letting up the late home run, um, he's still a really incredible pitcher, um, especially for his young age and such. I, 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 you know, they did stretch him a little bit to get him to that um, 10th. That was his third inning that he pitched and not his, like, third inning because he only pitched two total innings, six outs. But um, a lot of people are down on him. I really wouldn't say you know that yet. I think Tiger has a lot of potential to still be these teams' closer. Like I said, Arkansas has two more series to you know really figure out this bullpen and um, you know get it nailed down for the regional. But I think that bullpen, you know, with Ramage, Taylor, Tigert, uh, Morris, Vermillion, is it, going to be the core for Arkansas a lot of the season. Will McIntyre too, 
Zach Morris. Um, Arkansas has a good bullpen, um, but the, the pitching in Friday's game uh, just kind of started off rough. No one five innings pitched, uh, six hits allowed, five to earn runs allowed. Um, just and Vanderbilt's a really good, talented hitting team too. I mean, this is a team that is always recruiting at the top level. Um, Arkansas got the bats going though, which I think is important. Um, just because sometimes that um, the hitting has been, you know, not there for Arkansas in certain games where the pitching has, but in this one, um, just pitching just couldn't keep up with the hitting. I don't think this is really a bad series loss though. I mean, sure, we lost to Vanderbilt at home, you know, number 24. But um, I, I don't think it's as bad as people are making out to it. Arkansas is still a projected top eight seed. And uh, given that Arkansas gets that top eight seed and wins the regional, this is the fourth year in a row Arkansas has hosted a super regional. That is incredible. Now, game two was played a little bit on Saturday, a little bit on Sunday. Arkansas won 11 to 6. The bats were raking uh, in the fourth and fifth inning. Arkansas scoring four in the fourth, two in the fifth. In this game, Caden Wallace leadoff was huge. He had uh, four RBIs, two hits, also had a home run that was absolutely gone off the contact. Uh, Michael Turner was one for five in this one, and then in the game against um, Vanderbilt later in the day, he was 0 for three. He kind of struggled being Arkansas's number one hitter that um, you know, kind of contributed to the hitting problems, especially within that last game. Um, outside of that, though, Arkansas getting five hits but 11 runs, good number there. Um, Arkansas drawing 10 walks in this one I think was huge. Um, really found ways to get on base despite um, not you know, always making good contact. Hagen Smith went 2.2 um, innings. He didn't look that great. He allowed... Um, five earned runs in that short amount of time. Zach Morse, he looked really good, though, in relief. I think he had three innings pitched, one earned run. And then uh, Will McIntyre has been incredible. He saved this game. And, a little, and, you know, it also went into a little bit on Sunday, too. Uh, so he didn't pitch in um, the later game. Main thing taking away from this game, though, you know, a rough start from Hagen Smith. Vanderbilt uh, really got on him in the third inning. They scored five runs then, and they only scored six runs for the whole game. But I think the huge thing here, Arkansas was down 5-2. The bats woke up, and um, they found a good way to win this game and even up the series at 1-1 at the time. Now moving on to the final game three here. The Hogs dropped this one. It was only a seven-inning game, 5-0. Two hits, seven innings, definitely a concern in this one. And it's heavily contributed to the reason why Arkansas lost. Um, 21 outs for a ball game is definitely short, but I, I don't think it's the reason why Arkansas lost, if that makes sense. Sure, 21 outs, I don't think it's a, you know, a fair way to determine a game three. I think it should be nine innings, but in a hypothetical that they play you know six more outs for both teams, I'm not that confident in Arkansas winning this one. Uh, 22 at-bats for, for Arkansas through um, seven innings. Uh, they just look dead. At the plate, five strikeouts, uh, four walks, two hits, five guys left on base in total in this game. Uh, Wallace and Moore both went one for three. Battles, uh, no hit. Turner, Braden didn't get a hit. Um, Leach, 0 for three. It was really a struggle at the plate. And, I mean, shout out to Vanderbilt, Carter Holton. Fantastic for them. Pitched all seven innings in this one. Only giving up two hits, uh, throwing 113 Jackson Wiggins, 4.1 innings pitched, um, two earned runs in that one. I, I think the main thing in this game, though, is definitely the hitting. And we've seen Arkansas's bats kind of go cold, especially with runners in scoring position at times this year. But this one was just bad. I mean, the, the thing is, when you have, you know, game three deciding the series, you want to at least go out there and look good. I mean, you don't want to go out there and just completely lay an egg. Um, but the main thing you got to do after this one, especially just from a perspective of, you know, picking yourself back up and, uh, you know, moving on. You got to get ready for that series at Vanderbilt. Uh, I think the main thing looking forward, though, is starting pitching just has to get to a better start. I mean, they got on Hagen early, and luckily the bats are covered. But um, they kind of, the same thing with Nolan, they got on him early, 
And that's the one thing Arkansas couldn't do that I talked about in my previous episode is they couldn't allow Vanderbilt to get on the pitchers early and because Arkansas's bats have been kind of up and down um, at certain times this year, and it was a down game on Sunday. I still think, though, Arkansas is in a really good spot just um, from the perspective of looking forward to you know the postseason. This is a team that's 37-14, ranked number 7 in the D1 baseball rankings, Texas A&M. Ranked at number six, 17 and 10 SEC record. Um, there's a lot of positives in this team, and we've seen those sides for a lot of guys that have, you know, been a College World Series team. And I think it's not not a bad thing that Arkansas is not peaking. I mean, you want to get everything tuned in with this week at Alabama and then the SEC tournament. Um, you want to perform your best at those two. I'm not sure about the SEC tournament. I mean, you don't want to sacrifice everything there to get a win. Um, I know it kind of can be concerning looking at last year's team, but Arkansas is definitely going to try, um, you know. But I don't know if they'll, you know, pitch all of their starters. May rest a couple guys, but anyway, um, the series at Alabama, you want to sweep because if you can sweep, you get at a twenty and ten SEC record, which is usually good to win the West. Um, Texas A and M travels to face at Ole Miss. Ole Miss eighteen and home record on the season. They are thirteen and fourteen. In conference play, so Texas A&M traveling to Ole Miss, um, they're really just fighting for the West, and then Ole Miss is basically fighting to play in the postseason um, at this point. Main thing here, though, for Arkansas through the series, don't overreact. This is still a really talented baseball team with a lot of great coaches. Just because they had one bad weekend at home is not the end of the world. Um, ideally, I think Arkansas needs to get two out of one out of Alabama and perform decently well at the SEC tournament. Your goal at this point in the season is get a top eight seed and win your regional, win your super regional, and have do it at Baum Walker. I mean, Baum Walker was fantastic this weekend, and I know it didn't, um, I guess, accumulate on the field, but um, crazy environment at Baum Walker. The stripe out was awesome, and then the, the guy picking up the raccoon. That is, um, that's just incredible, man. Looking like, if you, obviously everybody's probably saw the video, um, but a raccoon was in left field, and this guy just straight up picked it up and wa- walked it out, out of the stadium. Um, he did get a rabies shot, though, afterwards, <laughs> uh, for anyone concerned, but, uh, that's just Arkansas, man. Uh, I, you know, the fans at Ballmark are always incredible. Get a home game here, um, lock it up and try to make another run at Omaha. It'd be your third time in four seasons that the postseason has been held. I'll be previewing that Alabama series, though, on Thursday, so you can catch it then. Also getting some softball stuff out on Friday. So, as always, y'all know the deal. Whoop pig suey. That's all for today's episode of All Hog Sports with Sam Stimson. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode covering all Arkansas Razorback sports. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on social media, too. On Twitter and Instagram at All Hog Sports Pod. Like on Facebook at All Hog Sports and Arkansas Razorbacks Podcast. And on YouTube at that same name. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Go Hogs!